And now it's time for the top 10 matches that could be happening in the WWE very soon. Number 10, The Undertaker versus Finn Balor. Finn Balor is currently on the disabled list, but when he comes back, WWE should not put him into a title match with the Universal Champion. Instead, they should put him into a match with The Undertaker. Both of them have very dark personas, which obviously would make for a very interesting matchup. Number nine, Sting versus The Undertaker. Sting is still retired, but recently on the WWE Network show, Legends with JBL, he said that he still wants to have that match with The Undertaker that everybody still wants to see. Sting also claims that if he has neck surgery, that he will not be able to wrestle ever again. So for right now, he's putting off the surgery and he's hoping that one day he'll be able to wrestle The Undertaker at a WrestleMania. Number eight, Brock Lesnar versus The Rock. We've already seen The Rock versus Brock Lesnar, but we haven't seen it for over 14 years. This is the only match that I believe The Rock wants to have. I wouldn't be surprised if we see this match at WrestleMania 33. Number seven, Lita versus Sasha Banks. Lita currently appears on the Raw and SmackDown pre-shows. Lita is currently 41 years old, and I'm sure she would love to come out of retirement and have one more great match. And I believe that woman she would like to have that match with would be Sasha Banks. This would be a great match to have in late 2017 when the WWE starts to run out of match ideas for the women. Number six, the world's greatest tag team versus American Alpha. Shelton Benjamin is currently on the disabled list, but he was going to be on SmackDown, the same show as American Alpha. Both teams consist of former amateur wrestlers. So obviously, if this match ever took place, it'd be very, very interesting. The biggest problem with this match is that Shelton Benjamin is injured and Charlie Haas is not under WWE contract. Number five, Triple H versus Shane McMahon. A match that is rumored for 2017 at WrestleMania 33 is Shane McMahon versus Triple H. Ever since Shane McMahon has come back to the WWE, we have not seen Triple H on TV with Shane McMahon. Plus, we have not seen Triple H on WWE television since WrestleMania. Obviously, a great time for Triple H to come back would be WrestleMania 33, and a match with Shane McMahon and Triple H for the power of the WWE would make perfect sense. Number four, Roman Reigns versus John Cena. Now many hardcore fans may not want to see this match, but it would definitely help Roman Reigns if he defeated John Cena. And it would be one of the few matches that John Cena would be cheered. And obviously, Reigns would be booed out of the building. I would like WWE to save this match for the day when John Cena decides to retire. If WWE is dead set on pushing Roman Reigns to the top, then a great guy for him to beat would be John Cena on Cena's last day in WWE. Number three, Samoa Joe versus Brock Lesnar. One match that internet fans have been clamoring for ever since Samoa Joe signed was to see him versus Brock Lesnar at some point on the WWE main roster. I've heard many times over the past year that there were rumors that Lesnar could be taking on Joe very, very soon. But as I'm recording this, Samoa Joe has yet to make his main roster debut, but I still think we will see this match at some point in the next year or two. Number two, John Cena versus The Undertaker. We have seen John Cena versus The Undertaker before, but we haven't seen it for several years. I've heard many times over the past few years that the WWE was planning on having Cena versus The Undertaker at a WrestleMania, but obviously that hasn't happened yet. I definitely expect this match to take place at WrestleMania 33 or WrestleMania 34. Number one, Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg. Goldberg defeated Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 20. Around the time of WrestleMania 20, Lesnar was going to leave the WWE and go to the NFL, and Goldberg was leaving the WWE as well. The crowd hated the match, and Lesnar got multiple you sold out chants during the match. But now things have changed. People really want to see this rematch, including Goldberg himself. Goldberg recently appeared in the WWE 2K17 video game commercial, where he was arrested by police and put into the back of a police car. And while the car was driving away, you could see in the reflection of the window a sign for Suplex City. This caused the internet to buzz and to speculate 
that Brock Lesnar could be taking on Goldberg very, very soon. Goldberg has made it clear in many recent interviews that he wants to have a rematch with Brock Lesnar. Lesnar is also open to the idea of having a rematch with Goldberg. My prediction would be WrestleMania 33, but this match could also be good for SummerSlam 2017 as well. 